And we are going to make our country great again. patriotic moms, we're business owners, educators, community leaders, but most importantly, we support the President of the United States, Mr. Donald J. Trump. I want to introduce you all to some of the members of our team if you don't already know. Please give a hand for uh, our Vice President, Marvina Case. Marvina! Director of Operations, Jennifer Gibran. Treasurer Nicole Bodecker. These ladies do a phenomenal job day in and day out. Tufa wouldn't be anywhere today if it weren't for their hard work and dedication. A very special thank you to Ammo for lending a helping hand today. Thank you to the Austin Police Department and DPS. We back the blue. volunteers that have been helping us throughout this process. All of you are amazing and we couldn't have done this without any of your support. With that said, uh, we have invited some pretty spectacular speakers out here today. We are honored and grateful they have agreed to come out and join us. So we thank you for as well from the bottom of our hearts. I see, um, okay, so you know, I'm pretty sure y'all have seen a little bit of opposition out here today. Um, aren't you all tired of the catchphrase, not my president? Yeah. Have you ever heard such nonsense? Get the hell out! I'm going to ask our audience to do something with me here for a bit. I want to ask you all to repeat after me really loud so they can hear our message. And you're going to say, you're going to say Trump is your president. Okay, on the count of three, everybody. One, two, three. Trump, Trump is your president! get a little workout on and, and march for your president. He has done an amazing job in his first year has been. Reviews and ratings are in and Trump has passed 50% approval ratings. Obama only had 45% at this time. And this is with the mainstream media day in and day out against him.
Southern <laughs> Thomas Dwayne Smith. He flew in to speak with you all and to bless this march and even to bless the people outside that are protesting because let's face it, they need more help than we do. So without further ado, to a man that needs no introduction because he is a man of God and a man of principle, Reverend Thomas Dwayne Smith. Thank you. First of all, I want to say I am honored to be a part of this event. Last year I watched Dome Wine, and this year, this is what America's about. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Amen. President Trump brought all these people together, yes, all of us together. This yep. is what's making America great. Yep. Before I pray, I want to take um, a 45 second moment of silence. Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, your word, Luke eleven seventeen, says, a kingdom divided against itself falls into desolation, and a house divided against a house falls. But Lord, I say, this nation will not fall Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, for too long, we have been afraid to say the name of Jesus in the public square. We've been afraid to let our faith define who we are. But because of your divine providence, Lord, you saw fit on November 2nd of 2016 to give this nation a reprieve. Many have wrote us off, Lord, but I thank you, Jesus, that you did not write us off. I thank you, Lord, for your love and your grace and your mercy. And above all, Lord God, I thank you that you used a man who was imperfect to bring together people Amen. of every culture. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Every culture. Yep. Amen. Lord God, we bless our president in the name of Jesus. We lift him up to you and we speak grace, mercy, mercy and favor over his life, Lord God. Amen. Father, we thank you that where people condemn him, we thank you that your love, your grace, and your mercy is also upon his life. And Father, I thank you for the people outside of this event. The very people who denies that you exist, but despite that, you love them. No greater love has a man than this, than a man that would lay down his life for a friend. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ laid down his life for each and every one of you, whether you believe in him or not, it doesn't matter because he still loved you enough to give this nation a retreat. So with that being said, Lord, I thank you for Texas United for America who organized this event to change the face of America because despite what is being said in the news, we're not divided. We are not divided. 
Amen. And I will leave you with this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're not racist. There is no such thing as the white race, the black race, the Hispanic race, the Asian race. It's cultures. Let's get it right. It's cultures. Subcultures made up of other subcultures all united in one race. In Christ Jesus, the human race.